I start cattle for a living. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a computer scientist. I've been really, really good at one thing in my life, starting cattle. I keep more of them alive than die. Okay, well here's the bottom line about herd health. I've just never had any luck selling a dead one. They all bring the same price. These cattle are, are uh, from a program where there is a program. If you're not vaccinating, you should be. You know, I don't work for Endovac Beef. I'm not getting paid to, hey, if it didn't work, I'd tell you don't use it. You're wasting your money. It works. My name's Brad Hahn. I'm a uh, fifth generation uh, rancher and farmer here in the edge of the Flint Hills in Southeast Kansas. Uh, my great great granddad come here on a wagon train and, and never left and my family's been here ever since. Uh, Grandpa was in the, the ranching industry. My dad's in the ranching industry. I'm in the ranching industry and my youngest boy Trevor is now in the ranching industry. We do cow-calf operation and we have a stalker operation and we also have a grow yard and then we also do the sale barn on Tuesdays. So we got quite a bit going on and we're going to keep on buying and selling cattle and, and uh, keep on doing this until, uh, until the next generation takes it over. My family owns the sale barn at Fredonia, Kansas, there in uh, Wilson County. Everyone I save or everyone I don't have to doctor or everyone my neighbors or the people in my community save, I got a selfish motive. I, I want people to come down to the Fredonia sale barn, buy cattle, turn them out in these hills, and then bring those cattle back, grow them all summer and bring them back to me. I kind of did my own trials about stuff. You know, he, he, made some, he made some pretty bold statements about what it could do for me and my herd health. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you the, the honest truth. A year ago, I started uh, a little over 900 cattle for a big feed yard in Nebraska. Just, you know, times are tough. I was keeping the heifers. They were keeping the steers. I used Endovac on 100% of those steers. On their sisters that I kept and grazed, I was just giving them a, a, just a, a live IBR shot with a pastorella in it, and I did not use the Endovac beef. Night and day difference. I had a wreck on my heifers on bad eyes. So, you don't have to be, it's called the learning curve. I learned I want to use Endovac beef on all of them now, and so this year, 100% of the cattle we turned out are going to get an Endovac beef shot. I know that when we buy high risk cattle, that we're going to have more of a challenge for that group of cattle. 100% of the cattle that come through the grow yard get a shot of Endovac, and what we've kind of uh, come to find out is when we do use Endovac, we don't have to treat as many cattle for the sickness or for other uh, common problems in the feed yard. For example, foot rot and pink eye. If, you, if they have foot rot and pink eye, they're not gonna perform as well. And, and if you give them a shot of Endovac, you usually don't have to worry about it as much. It'll, it'll kind of clean them up. You know, we can run them through the chute, one shot, simple. And if they are having other problems for the high, high risk cattle, we'll run them back through, give them a booster shot and then you don't have to worry about them after that. You know, after the two week period, giving that booster vaccine and not having to chase them through the pins and, and pull sick ones. You know, I, I usually have to do that by myself up there and it's a whole lot easier we don't have to do it at all. I don't want to be spending all day at the feed yard pulling sick ones if I don't have to. Endovac beef is a game changer for me and I'm getting my pastorella and, and all the uh, uh, stimulants that you know, help the vaccines work better and stuff, all out of the Endovac beef. Processing these calves to go to grass now, we're doing three things. We're implanting them, we're worming them, giving them an Endovac beef, and kicking them out on blue stem. We've done this long enough that we let the cattle tell us what they really need, and, and it's worked pretty good for us. On good years, you can make money doing it. You know, I don't want to do it for nothing, go broke doing it, but usually with the cattle industry, if you're smart and kind of do some risk management and, uh, and kind of take care of business, you know, you can't just uh, work half the day. Usually it's a seven day a week job. The cattle still got to be fed on Saturday and Sunday, but it's something I like to do, enjoy doing it. And I'm with my family. My parents and my grandparents are both down here still. And so it's kind of a family operation. You just can't imagine how proud I am of a boy that's come back to the, uh, the family ranch and I, I hope uh, 
to uh, eventually him take this deal over and why wouldn't everybody want to do what I do for a living? You know, I, like I say, there, there's some challenges in our industry, some big challenges, but uh, Endovac beef, if everybody knew what I knew, everybody'd be using it. it I, I'm telling you about something that works for my program.